Are men only traveling abroad for prostitution? That's today's topic on Passport Kings. Engage. This episode is brought to you today by my website, PassportKings.com. That's www.PassportKings.com. Go there, find out the new travel information, see my new videos, and if you go to BookDudeHotels.com, you might as well do it through my site and I can get the affiliate credit. Plus, you can check out the pictures and keep updated with any new trips that we're planning. Go to www.PassportKings.com. There are prostitutes in every American city all over the U.S. Do a quick Craigslist or Backpage search under escorts. Do you think they're only selling their time? I'm not trying to knock anyone's hustle or blow up their spots. I'm just mentioning them to let everyone know that if a person really wants to buy prostitution, going out of the country is a very expensive way to do it. Besides, if you have thousands of dollars to throw around, which is what it costs many times to travel abroad, women in America are usually throwing themselves at you anyway. It makes no sense for men to buy airline tickets, a hotel room for many days, travel expenses, and days off work just to buy some damn prostitutes. Besides, let's take a look at black females in America. They're gorgeous when they take care of their weight and fitness. America has some of the most beautiful women in the world. And I'd say about 50% of African American women are some of God's most beautiful creations on their eyes. And all the other 50% have to do usually is go on a diet and join a gym. And they'd also be stunning. And if they could stop being such sporty brats, they'd be crushing it in every way. So, if it's not for the women, then why am I so eager to travel to exotic location? And as often as possible. Well, I'll never claim that men are uninterested in seeing or meeting women from other countries. Men are visual. We love to see beauty. We love to see beauty, beachfronts, sunsets, nice cars, bungalows, and yes, beautiful women. Just like when we see a new Ferrari, we'll tap one of our friends and say, Damn, did you see that car? But that doesn't mean that we're gonna bash the owner over the head and take it from him. But we are happy that we were there to see it. God, he made straight men attracted to beautiful women. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with looking at them or talking to them. We are social creatures. It's just like asking that Ferrari owner, what kind of miles per gallon does that thing get? And what's the horsepower on that Ferrari? That's the same equivalent to, what's your name? Or where's the best places to eat around here? You know what? It's okay, and it's the right thing to do to be social. It's fun. I mean, are married women social with people that they don't know? When they're at social gatherings, are they social? Yes, they are. But before you get the wrong idea, realize that I've been talking about those viewers that think it's okay for someone to keep tabs on them. In other words, men in relationships. And if you aren't in one, I suggest you never waste your time explaining to anyone why you go where you go or do what you do. And if you're having sexual relationships with women locally or women overseas, it's nobody's business. And your response to anyone asking or trying to analyze you should be, mind your business. And to the women, prostitution is legal in Nevada. So, at the end of the day, if you think your man may want to travel across the globe just to pay for new girls, you're a little insecure. Leave that passport king alone, because if he was doing what you say he was doing, he'd be on back page, Craigslist, and in Nevada. Men can definitely have good times abroad without paying for sex. Countries abroad have thousands of tourist destinations. I mean, when game shows send people on a trip overseas as a prize, does that show think the winner is just going to go find prostitution? Of course not. There are many things to do and see an experience with groups of friends. And family vacations is not the only time that a guy should get away for a few days. Kings, when you go, go proud. And don't let anyone guilt you into thinking that you're doing something wrong, usually because that person has insecurities. And for God's sakes, don't listen to other dudes talking about what and where you should go and what you should do. Because those are usually the type of guys who are stuck in a rut. The only places they go is to work, back home, and to the strip club. And usually, they made some choices in life that they wish they could take back. But you know what? They can't 
they settled and they wish you would settle too. But guess what, Passport Kings? Only you are responsible for your happiness. And if like me, your happiness exists of a lot of travel to a lot of exotic locations, I salute you and I consider you a part of this movement. And remember, check out my YouTube page every Wednesday. I'm going to bring you a new Passport Kings video and we can keep this movement going. Remember to subscribe below. Check out my Facebook page. That's www.passportkings.com slash Facebook. And go to my Twitter. www.twitter.com slash passport underscore kings. Welcome aboard. Abroad. And if you meet a broad who's just a piece of meat or bored, explain to her that you're not a John, you're a king. A passport king. I'm going to talk to y'all later, man. If you think your man may want to travel across the globe, remember, check out my YouTube page every Friday. I'm going to bring you a new video. Uh, sorry. The new travel information. See my new videos. Uh, if you want to really see. God damn it. Damn it. I got the world home. Damn it. All right. Nah. Go ahead.